Francia Barker of Stockton is all about saving energy in her home. Oh, he has it on 78. Her thermostat set at 78 or above, ceiling fans on, and cooking meals earlier. I think if we can conserve, I'm one of those proud people that has lets her grass grow fallow and to conserve on water, and I'm cool with the conserving energy. And under a flex alert, that means from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., like Francia, your thermostat set at 78 or higher, avoiding the use of major appliances like dishwashers and dryers and turning off all unnecessary lights. Plus, it's easy for me. I have to say it's easy for me because I'm home all day. But the director of a consumer watchdog agency says it doesn't have to be this way. More local with generation, matching an area's needs, the better we're going to be. Jamie Cord is president of Consumer Watchdog. He says the state needs to stop relying on outside companies for power and harness its own energy. PG&E in particular has not done a good job of, uh, of, of, of uh, clearing uh, power lines from the vegetation, clearing the vegetation of power lines. PG&E hasn't done a good job of, um, of burying uh, power lines. If they're under the ground, they can't catch on fire. Court says the state also needs to invest in more power generation like wind, geothermal, and solar. But he says solar in particular is a much underused resource in California. Utilities have said if we invest in rooftop solar and people generate their own power, we're going to go out of business. PG&E turned down our request for an interview, instead emailing us a pair of news releases regarding the flex alert and how it has cleared vegetation around nearly 1,900 miles of power lines and is completing wildlife safety inspections.